Hello, my name is Brandon Ellis, and today we are going to go over the care and cleaning kit for your flute, available at a Veritas Instrument Rental Affiliate. So we're going to begin with the items in your care kit that are for the case. The lanyard goes on the handle of the instrument, and it's always a good idea to put some information on here, like a phone number or a parent's name, in case your instrument gets lost. You just want to put the strap through, pull it tight, attach it to the handle, pull it tight again, and then your instrument will always have your information attached to it. The other items are the care and caution kit uh, placard, which has a list of the items inside of your kit, as well as some information about the instrument that is good to read. You have a pencil that can be used to keep track of when you practice and for how long, as well as to be used when in the band hall in case you need to make a mark on your music. To begin the cleaning of your flute, you'll first want to grab your flute cleaning rod inside the case. You'll notice that it has a slotted end and this is for the swabs that are provided in your care and cleaning kit. You can take the swab, fold it, put it through the slot, and then use it to go into the flute from both sides. You can also use it to go through the foot joint and you want to do that every time you practice or at the end of the day if you're practicing or playing a bunch so that you remove the moisture from the inside of the instrument and it does not set there and grow mold. And then you'll also notice that you have this shaped swab and this swab is for the head joint because the head joint has what we call the tuning cork up here. So you want to be sure that this goes in and goes all the way up to the tuning cork. And what you do is you put this over the end of the swab so that when you push it in, you can swab the tuning fork and pull it back out. Now, the other end of your cleaning rod has this line right here, and you want to make sure that it is always centered on your lip plate. The last cleaning item in your care kit is the key brush. And this can be used to go between the keys and dust away any type of little small debris or uh, build up from your hands. You just want to be sure and be nice and gentle. As you go through, you can just dust the keys away and it helps keep it clean. Now that we've cleaned the flute with the products in your care kit, I want to go over the properly assembly of your instrument as well as the thumb rest. Now this comes with your care kit. If you want to use it, you can put it on the flute so that when you hold it, you have a place to rest your thumb that's not actually on the flute and it helps it to not tarnish so fast. Um, when it comes to assembling your instrument, the first thing you want to do is take the foot joint and attach it to the body. And you want to line this rod with the middle of this pad cup so that when you hold the instrument, your pinky key gently rests on the foot joint. Once that's aligned, you can take the head joint, insert the tenon, and a lot of flutes have a mark right here on the barrel, and you want to line that mark up with the center of your lip plate. And now your flute is assembled, and you're ready to play. We've assembled our flute and gone over the proper way to clean it. The last thing I want to touch on is the polish cloth that is in your care and cleaning kit. And this is designed to wipe off your residue from your hands after you play the instrument and to help keep the instrument shiny. Now your flute is going to be silver or nickel. And this polish cloth can be used on both so that you can just wipe away your fingerprints after you get done playing. That concludes our video on the flute care and cleaning kit. Thank you for watching.